everyone, this is Learning with Linda, and today I bring you the topic of state relief in the month of September. Of course, when we're referring to state relief, we're talking about stimulus checks, PEBT, and the SNAP emergency allotment. So starting off with Virginia, Virginia, you guys actually just announced a first round of check refunds that they'll be sending out by the end of the week. And remember, guys, that this could be anywhere between $250 to $500. Moving on to Illinois, now since Monday, Illinois started sending checks between 50 to 400 dollars so i also bring you those details and then moving on to the topic of summer pebt for one specific state you'll actually be getting your payment of 391 dollars very soon and then remember guys we talked about georgia in one of my previous videos where they were sending cash assistance for low income individuals right and it was up to 350 dollars now the good news is that this could possibly be available in the next couple of days and then of course we have 32 states that have been approved for the snap emergency allotments for the month of September and as always I bring you the payout date information as well so make sure you guys stay until the end of this video to ensure that you receive this information now before we get started if you're interested in the latest news regarding stimulus child tax credit snap PEBT and everything in between make sure you hit that like and subscribe button down below now let's get right to it and don't forget to take advantage of these offers. With Rakuten, you can get an additional $30 when you sign up and spend $30 or more using the referral link that is in the video description. You can also receive up to 20% cash back every time you shop at your favorite stores. Next, we have the Ibotta app where you can get cash back when doing your grocery shopping. You can also receive $10 when you sign up and upload your first receipt using the referral code that is on the screen. And in case you want to maximize your rewards, you can use a second app like Fetch Rewards to upload the same receipt you just used from the Ibotta app. Fetch is actually super easy to use as it will give you points just for uploading any type of receipt. You'll even get 2,000 points just for signing up with this referral code. So let's start off this video with Illinois. So starting this week, you guys, Illinois income tax relief checks are headed to millions of individuals, which of course could be anywhere between $50 to $400. So about 6 million Illinois taxpayers will start to receive their income and property tax rebates starting on Monday. And this is, of course, something that the governor had said. Now, those who made less than $200,000 in 2021 and are not claimed as a dependent on another tax return will receive $50 rebates. Now, couples filing jointly with incomes under $400,000 will receive $100, and then for tax return filers will also receive $100 per dependent they claimed on their 2021 taxes for up to three dependents, which gives you the possibility of receiving up to $300 there. Now, according to officials, residents will receive their payment through the same method their original refund was sent through. So if you received it through mail, you're going to get it through mail. If you received it through direct deposit, you're going to get it through direct deposit. Now, if you didn't receive a refund or if you were given a paper check refund, it may take longer for the rebate to be issued. And this, of course, according to state officials. However, the payout process is expected to be long. State officials say the payments could take at least eight weeks in total to distribute. And now shortly falling behind right after that, you guys, is Virginia. So Virginia will also start sending their one-time tax rebates very soon. And remember, guys, this could be anywhere between $250 to $500. So in the coming days, one-time rebates will start going out to eligible taxpayers. This is according to the Virginia Department of Taxation. Now, Tax Commissioner Craig Burns said that the first rebates will be issued on Friday, September 16th as part of a quote-unquote soft launch. Now, Burns said that they will ramp up significantly next week but they won't all go out at once so that means some of you guys can get them as early as Friday September 16th some of you guys will have to wait a little longer than that now starting Monday September 19th Burns said they plan to issue 250,000 rebates per day six days per week so it's clear that they're trying to pretty much get those out as soon as possible issuance issuances will continue through the end of the calendar year until the agency has completed the process for all eligible returns filed by November 1st of 2020 so if you're in Virginia, you qualified for these one-time tax rebates, remember that you can expect it to receive it any time between Friday, September 16th, all the way until the end of December of this year. Now, refunds will be based on your tax liability. If you had a tax liability last year, you will receive up to $250 if you filed individually and up to $500 if you filed jointly. 
Now, some taxpayers will receive the rebate by direct deposit and some will receive a paper check. So if you received a refund by direct deposit this year, you'll likely receive your rebate by direct deposit in the same bank account with the description here. Here it is pretty much. It'll say VA Department of Taxation, VAT, X rebate, right? So all other eligible taxpayers will receive their rebate by pepper check in the mail. And now moving on to the topic of summer PEBT, we do have one state that will be receiving their summer PEBT benefits very soon, and that is the state of Montana, you guys. So the Montana Department of Health and Human Services announced on Friday that Director Charlie Brewton and Montana Governor Greg joined forces to issue $12.5 million for the summer pandemic electronic benefit transfer. Now, starting on Wednesday, September 14th, eligible Montana families receive a one-time benefit of $391 per child. And he says, with prices rising and inflation at 41-year high, it's more difficult for Montanans to put gas in their cars and trucks and put food on the table. Now, this timely funding will provide a boost for hardworking families as the school year kicks off. Now, the press release says that the summer PBT benefits over 30,000 children age 0 through 17 years of age and of course we also have right those kids under the age of 6 that receive food stamps and then we also have school age kids meaning K through 12. Next, we have the state of Georgia. Remember, guys, in one of my previous videos, we had already discussed the cash assistance that is being provided to Medicaid, SNAP, and or TANF recipients. Now, here's the good news. This could be coming very soon. And remember, it's up to $350, right? So Governor Kemp announced last month that he dedicated more than $1 billion to the Department of Human Services to provide cash assistance of up to $350 for active enrollees, which can also include $350 for anyone in the Active Enrollees Assistance Unit of Medicaid, SNAP, and or TANF government benefit programs. Now, eligible recipients include Georgians who were enrolled in actively receiving Medicaid, SNAP, or TANF benefits by July 31st of this year. Eligible Georgians are expected to receive the cash assistance payment beginning in mid-September. I'm not sure until when they're going to be sending it but we know that they're gonna be starting sending those out in mid-September. Now, DHS will be communicating with eligible Georgians through the gateway, uh, through the Georgia Gateway portal, I'm sorry. All potentially eligible Georgians should log into the Georgia Gateway account and ensure their personal information and contact preferences are up to date. And moving on to the SNAP emergency allotments, remember guys, unfortunately, we have a couple of states that are no longer providing these benefits. Here I've pretty much gathered the list and then I've also included the last benefit month. And here we have the pale date information for the SNAP emergency allotments for the month of September. So starting off with Alabama, any time between September 29th through September 30th, Colorado, September 9th, all the way through the 15th, Connecticut, September 16th, Delaware, September 28th, DC is actually on a regular issue and schedule, Illinois, September 21st, all the way through the 29th, Louisiana, September 3rd, the 10th, the 17th, and the 24th, Maine, September 9th, Maryland, September 1st, all the way through the 30th, Michigan, September 17th, all the way through September 26th. New Jersey will be sending out the benefit anytime between September 1st all the way through September 5th. New Hampshire, September 1st, September 16th, or October 21st. New Mexico, September 1st all the way through the 30th. New York, for those in New York City, September 16th all the way through the 29th. And then for the rest of the state, anytime between September 12th all the way through the 22nd. North Carolina, September 22nd all the way through the 1st of October. Ohio, September 28th or September 29th. Oklahoma, September 10th, all the way through the 15th. Oregon, round one is on September 9th, round two, September 29th, and round three on the 3rd of October. Pennsylvania, September 16th, all the way through September 29th. And of course, we also have Rhode Island, September 3rd. Next, we have South Carolina depositing payments anytime between September 1st all the way through September 19th. Now, Texas, guys, Texas has not actually been added on the USDA website. However, their governor has announced 
that their benefits for the SNAP emergency allotment for September have been approved. So that's why we put any time between September 1st all the way through the 30th. I know there's been some people that report that they already received their benefits, right? So next we have Utah, September 24th, Virginia, September 16th, Washington, September 2nd, all the way through September 20th, West Virginia, September 6th, and a final run on October 12th. And we also have Wisconsin, September 17th. And last but not least, we have the pale date information for the SNAP emergency allotments for September, but these specifically are the states that are usually one month behind, so which means these states right here will be paying out in the month of October, right? So starting off with California, they'll be sending their September benefits on October 15th through the 16th, Hawaii October 10th, Massachusetts October 4th, Kansas October 22nd all the way through the 31st, and Vermont October 14th. And that is all the updates that I have for today. Remember to turn on your notification button to know when I have uploaded a new video. See you guys next time.